So do you want to tell them why we decided to do this challenge? Mm, I guess so. <laughs> well, I think that's an important part. Because <laughs> yeah. I wasn't looking for a challenge at the time. Exactly. So about, I guess, uh, sometime mid-June, uh, we decided to do like a 14-day challenge. And it's what it was, it was actually inspired off of the book you read mm -hmm. while we were away. It's called 14 Days Later by Sibel Hodge. It's a really fun book and I talked about it in our previous Loxy show. Um, really fun book. Um, I won't go into too much details of the book because I want you guys to read it. But pretty much the main char character of the book, and that's what I was telling Alex because I was reading it, I was so excited. She is going through something really tough in her life, a breakup with her boyfriend, and she's in a rut. And in order to get out of that rut, uh, her friend suggested she does this 14 day challenge where for every day she has to do something new. And she goes for it and her life changes and you know, it's a really fun book and I was telling exactly. Alex about it. Exactly, so I thought the idea was cool. Not that I was like in a rut, right? Everything is actually really good, it just, but sometimes when things are really good, you also, uh, it's a different kind of level of extremes, <laughs> like the good and the bad. But everything is really good, but I thought it would be really cool to uh, just challenge, challenge ourselves, ourselves for yeah. 14 days and do something new every day because it's not always that we get to do that. And, uh, and a lot of times we do want to do things, but we're like, okay, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. But this way, you have to come up with a challenge every day, so you kind of like exactly. are looking for things <laughs> that do. are new to do. And yeah, the, the basic rule was to do something new every day. Um, for 14 days. For 14 so, days straight. So let's get started. So the first day we decided to do cooking, cooking class. class. Yeah. 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 My, so what are you making, Alex? We're making a gazpacho soup. Ooh, nice. We just came back from under the sea of Spain, so we wanted to learn how to make it. And we nice. did that. This we, class we is perfect, the yeah. We the gazpacho soup. I love your apron, too. Yeah. It's actually my mom's Cur apron. Let's see if don't I look cute? You look so cute. Yeah, so we, were, we started peeling tomatoes first, but it's easier just to chop them off. Yeah, it was too tough. Scoop up the tomatoes, so... Then we're gonna blend everything and then make it delicious like pistachio. Yeah, it's like 14 people here. Yeah. Everyone's cooking. Everything's almost ready, so we're getting ready to eat. Lots of vegetables, lots of healthy food, lots of vegetarian I mean, it's only vegetarian. <laughs> so, I am so hungry. Are you hungry? And we learned how to make a gazpacho soup, so it's going to be a regular on our tables from now on. Yeah, for sure. Very easy. Was it good? I didn't taste it. I tasted it. It's kind of spicy, but a lot of flavor. Very delicious and healthy. Nice. Too much more, so yeah. it's amazing. Cool. So we went yeah. Was it, was it vegetarian? It was. A, I think it was vegan because I don't think there was any cheese in it. Maybe it was vegan. It was a vegan cooking class. Very delicious food. I was full by the end of it. It was like five course thing, dinner thing, and you know it was really fun because you do realize that you can cook, and ev all we used was just vegetables. And um, I think the only packaged thing we we'll probably have was the. Um, the tortilla things for the uh, the brown rice tortillas yeah. for the pizza we made. Everything we made was from vegetables and it was just amazing. We had no leftovers and no leftover packaging because you know yeah. a lot of times you buy foods and they were like packaged. So this was kind of a no packaged meal which was amazing because um, it was really healthy and nutritious. <laughs> So day two we decided to do something fun and um, we do love to host parties. Yeah. So we decided to do a fundraiser party. Yeah, it was uh, it was for so it was like a, just a fundraising party for like what was that animal shelter? Yeah, it was for um, cats and dogs animal shelter. Yeah. It was, and it was, yeah. It, was, it, was a, it was a fun way to just get people together and just yeah, we just have, have fun. Because you know what, guys, like we always have parties at home. And why not have a party, but also, you know, raise some awareness and money for a good cause. Yeah, so you can be like, donate like five bucks or something mm -hmm. like that. And all the food is almost gone. We had a really fun night. Hi, Sveta. Yeah, I called her Poofy. <laughs> Hi, girls. And this is Nika for, from Period Makeup. <laughs> Hi, Leila. I already said hi. Andre eating. Sorry. Caught him at a bad time. And Alex, of course. Hi, Ronnie. 
Uh, how's it going? <laughs> so everyone's just having a good time and um, it was a successful night. That's all I can say. And we we got it was it was a pretty yeah because we didn't get that many people to come. It was maybe 15 people. Yeah. yeah. I I don't even think it was 15 people and we raised I think four or five hundred dollars. Which well, is, including our including our donations <laughs> yeah, yeah. too, but which is amazing, I think. So we're really grateful yeah, but, for our wonderful friends. But you can do friends. it even for like five bucks, you know, like what's yeah, five bucks? Yeah, it doesn't matter how much you're gonna raise. Just raising the awareness is the most important thing. Hunt. Yeah, the scavenger hunt was like it was really fun. Uh, all we're running around all around the city for all these people. It's kind of like this thing. Yeah. They have it, I think. I think all around. They have it like have all around it all US. The world? All around. I think maybe even all around the world. I think city. I'll, I'll, we'll try to put the name in the. In the yeah, we'll put the, the name of the, box. or we'll we'll even put the challenges down there so you guys can see but, it in the info box down yeah, below. Yeah, but like the night before, I didn't sleep that well. I guess we didn't sleep well. We didn't sleep well. It was, uh, it was just the, I mean, one of those nights. And like, be a little nervous the night be before the scavenger hunt, or whatever. But it was a challenging night, and then. Because when we woke up, the least thing we had like two hours of sleep. We like yeah. couldn't sleep the whole night. We just stayed in bed. Okay, when are we gonna fall asleep? And we couldn't fall asleep, and we had like two hours of sleep. Yeah, and then uh, the, in the morning, like the weather wasn't good for that mm. day. It's supposed to rain, so you get up like early morning, and it just looks gloomy outside. And you're like, Why do, I, do, do I really want to do this? Like, it's gonna probably gonna rain. It's gonna be bad weather. But you know what? We overcame it and went, and we had lots of fun. It was, yeah, it was, it was, it was a blast. I it was saying. a blast. We, you know, I saw a lot of parts of Toronto that I haven't seen before. So I definitely recommend doing it. Whatever yeah. you're living in the world, if they have scavenger hunts, it's a really fun way to you know discover your city. Yeah, and it was good time and it was together. fun, yeah, because yeah. you like you're with your partner, or with your friends, you kind of get to know them better too in that exactly. kind of circumstances. Scavenger hunt. City. The city. We've never done this before. Never. Hope, hope they don't make Mimi eat cat food. No cat food for me. <laughs> I heard that's what they do. <laughs> Done this before. Turn to your brave partner and give him a hug. You have no. Yeah, it's my teacher Mimi. Hello. Teach Mimi at the piano. Uh, the challenge of the day is to for me to teach and for Alex to learn piano. I, I, obviously, you're not going to learn in one day, but we've been meaning to do this kind of a class for as long as we've been dating or we've been together, which is like probably four years, five years, I don't know. No, we've been three years we've been dating, huh? I don't know, we've been married for a year. No, it's been four years. No. Anyways, we don't know. <laughs> it's been probably over four years, or around four years. But anyways, we've never got around to it. So thanks to this challenge, we're finally playing. And yeah, Alex is gonna... Yeah, I'll show off my around. skills in a second. Yeah, there's a lot to learn, because music is a language. So, um, you know, it takes more than a day to learn how to play, that's for sure. I, I played for, I think, over eight, nine, ten years. And if you don't play, you forget, just like with languages, right? You still remember. Of course, yeah. So we're gonna start from the beginning and, you know, keep in mind the fingers, because like we said, and also that it's forte, so you have to uh, start loud, and then you go softly. Very good, now switch to two. Good job. Yeah. Very good. Great. For your first class, very yeah. good. Well, we had jazz fest festival in Toronto, and every mm -hmm. time there's a jazz festival. We kind of cheated, I guess, on that. <laughs> no, we didn't. We still went. It was, it was supposed to be the, the event was 
Uh, it was supposed to be jazz at Alley Cats. It's this uh, place in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Usually, uh, Layla and uh, I sell. I sell. Well, sometimes go, we go yeah, there. Sometimes too. we go there. There's salsa dancing on Mondays, usually. So, but it was part of the jazz festival. It's supposed to be jazz. We went there. There was no jazz. But there was salsa dancing, so we just danced salsa. Yeah, so, but we did our part. Yeah. We went. <laughs> there was no jazz, but yeah, but we we tried. We tried. <laughs> that we did. We did do something that day, though, so it was good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It was as long as we tried. Yeah, that's all that matters. Right, exactly. Oh, day six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love day six. I, that was, it your, was, it was your favorite. Right? It was actually one of my favorites. Okay, <laughs> because Anna asked me the other day. She's like, "What was your favorite part?" Your favorite part. It's funny. So you want to tell them about <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, they six we just were like, okay, we always go to the parks, we take walks, and we always see garbage in the parks, right? But and we say, oh, look at those pigs, you know, like, like why are, why are they people this, doing throwing but, bottles? But we never actually go and pick it up. So we thought, why don't we try to clean up uh, and try to set, set a good example or whatever. Or like, because when you see a nice clean park, you don't want to throw stuff, right? But when you see someone threw it, you may have a more inclination to throw mm -hmm. something. Because like, ah, somebody else already did it. I might as well throw it too. <laughs> so we tried to clean out the park and we went to a mill pond park. Here in um, Richmond Hill. Here in Richmond Hill, and we cleaned it up pretty well. I, I would say. It was a lot of fun. We we spent two hours. <laughs> yeah, probably two hours. We got like uh, almost two bags. Two. We had two full bags, yeah. um, and you know people were looking at us like, "What are they doing?" And we were <laughs> I, I was, even dressed I was, I was, I was, I was dressed we pretty were, well too. I was like wearing loafers. And, like, we were coming from somewhere, so it was like part of the day. It's not like we cleaned the whole day, yeah. but like yeah, we were like dressed up, you know, like regularly, but. Yeah, Our was, regular dress up is kind of a little overdressed exactly. for a park cleaning. So, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, it was I a like, lot of fun. I really enjoyed it and I think it's, you know, it's, I want to do it more. Yeah. In the streets of Go. Toronto, day five. And today we're going to be cleaning the parks, or the park. <laughs> uh, this is a Mill Pond Park, it's close to where we live. It's a pretty clean and park. I don't see a lot of. It's a pretty clean park, but I'm sure we can find garbage. We have four bags like this that we're gonna fill up today and then recycle. So let's get going. We've got lots of work. <laughs> yeah, make sure to put those gloves on. Yeah, be careful with the glass. Here we are an hour later. Not even an hour, maybe half an hour later, and we, we filled up first bag. This is definitely going to take us longer than we thought, but you know, we try to pay attention to everything we pick up to make sure nothing yeah, is left. So far, the highlights, a lot of beer bottles, yeah. uh, beer, water cans, bottles, water bottles, Tim Hortons is uh, the biggest uh, polluter. Contributor. <laughs> uh, Why are you crying? I was making an onion soup. I'm a mess. My makeup is probably running down my face. But I had to like chop this onions and it was a nightmare. Oh what are God. we doing today? What's the challenge? Challenge of the day is to make, to cook something new. I'm making an onion soup and you're making a mushroom salad. No, it's mushroom spinach. Mushroom salad. spinach salad. Um, Organic, baby. Of course baby. we want to be healthy, so we're sticking to vegetarian options. And let's see what we have at the end of it today. Yeah. Just season. So what are we doing? We're just making a uh, spinach mushroom salad. Mm -hmm. Right now what I'm doing, I put some garlic and some butter base and I'm... Yum. Uh, <coughs> oh, oh, look at that. Aren't you so skilled? <laughs> yeah, and I'm making, frying them a bit. Yeah, so cook something new. It was kind of a hard challenge for us to do that day because our parents were coming back from France and we had to go pick them up. Or no, we didn't. No, Leila had to. Them up and no, we but we were like, we, we had to cook and we were also working that day. So we're like, okay, what can we cook that's new and you know, that we can cook so that by the time they get home, the food is ready. Yeah. So it was a bit of challenging, but we did good. I made the. Um, what did you make? It was like. Um, What's it called? Roasted onion soup, I think. Oh yeah, it was like a it was really it was good. kind of like a French onion, but it was a yeah. vegetable broth and stuff exactly. like that. Exactly, it was really good and soup. I've never had French onion yeah. soup. And I made so. some mushrooms with. You, you made a spinach mushroom salad. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it was really delicious. <laughs> Maybe we should start cooking new <laughs> yeah, stuff again. Exactly. Day eight, 
it was a pretty spontaneous day because we, we actually had, yeah. Yeah, we had no idea what to we do didn't plan it. we didn't plan it because at first it's like we started with a role we planned some things and then kind of like we got a little off track i guess so but we had to do something oh mashki is here yeah. hi mashki 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 wants to say hi. Cat wants to say hi hey mashki <laughs> hey we just adopted her she's so cute yeah. hi, hi just say hi she's so loving you want to stay with us you want to stay with us? <laughs> you can chill on the bed. Yeah, yeah so day eight, uh, we didn't really know what to do. <laughs> we can just put her here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so day eight, um... It wasn't really planned. It wasn't really planned. But, um, what happened was, it was, a, it was a really good day, because what, what what did you do on day 8? Um, I don't really remember, I remember... No, you, did, you, oh, you wrote to Donna, right? Yeah, I remember what we did, we were just running some errands, and then when we, we got in the elevator and you saw that uh, one of our neighbors... What? Oh, that was me. Mm -hmm. I was saying it was you. you. Okay, I'll tell my story first. But day 8 was pretty much... Uh, tell, tell someone that, who, has inspired that has you, inspired you or... Or who has helped you or tell someone how you really feel. But it has to be a good thing, not a bad exactly. thing. Exactly. <laughs> a good thing and um, just overall. Because a lot of times, you know, even strangers, they could be somebody on the bus, you know. Let's say you take a bus and every day that bus driver smiles on you and tells you have a nice day or something. And he makes and it, day he makes you Yeah, he makes your day, he makes you feel good. So why don't you just tell them, you know, and like... Just be honest with a stranger, sort of. Not, it, it could have been a family member, but we chose to do it with, you know... Strangers. Not and strangers, but people that are not so close to us. Exactly. So for me, day eight, we're just in the elevator, and there's this uh, older man. He's 92. And I, he's 92 already? He's 92. He's 93, probably. Now. Oh my god. So he's 93, and last year when he was 92, I used to go to the gym in our building, and he used to be on the treadmill, like full out, like walking, like having a little jog. He doesn't wear glasses. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't wear glasses. He's like watching t like TV and stuff. And I, I used to talk to him. I'm like, I'm like, kind of. And when I found out how old he was, I'm like, are you serious? Like, he, you're 92 and you're in such great shape. He's 93 now. He's still like, he got in a little worse shape, so he has a little walker now. He doesn't walk by But himself. he still looks pretty good. But he still looks pretty good. He has a wicked handshake. Uh, super strong and I he just really inspires me in terms of whenever people are like 50 or even 60 like our parents like oh I'm so old I can't yeah, do I can't anything do I'm like are you serious there is a guy in our building who's 92 yeah you always talk about yeah, him he's, he's on a treadmill he always smiles I'm like don't give me excuses if he can do it you can do it exactly. so he's just been an inspiration to me so and when we're in the elevator I just told him kind of straight up I'm like thank you you're my inspiration thank you for like just being you kind of thing and he was just, uh, he kind of like had a little, I guess, tear uh, almost, and like we, like, we just shook hands and. Uh, yeah, he. I'm sure he was, he was touched. Yeah, because you know, not many times we're told such compliments or any compliments. Yeah. I'm sure. It's, especially when you're older, right? Because a lot. Like of we're lucky because we get a lot of compliments from you guys, but you know we expose ourselves to videos and all that, but not everyone. You know, get so fortunate to to get any compliments ever. Exactly. So give compliments. Give and compliments. We'll, but we'll, real ones, right? It has yeah, to be a genuine, real one. Genuine, you know, because people like, oh, can feel like, oh, you look good when you look like crap. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, for me, it was um, um, somebody who really helped me out when I was um, when I was unemployed. I wasn't unemployed, but I, like I was but, fired. Yeah, but yeah. I was I wasn't working by right, choice. You yeah, my contract ended and I was unemployed by choice because I wanted to start my own business. And the business was image consulting, fashion styling, I'm sure you you guys already know it because I mentioned it in a few of my videos. And I was trying to get on this program, a government uh, program called SCB and I applied and I waited and I did so much work and I was rejected. rejected. <laughs> she called me up, uh, the head of the department, um, and she told me I am rejected. I hung up and I was like, oh my god, and Alex was beside me and I'm like, I cannot go back to 9 to 5 job, I can't do it, I have to have my own business, this is me, you know, I'm ready for it, and he was like, call her back and ask her for a second chance, and I was like, I can't do it, I'm like, I'm too shy, I don't know, it's too embarrassing to ask for a second chance, blah blah blah, he's like, no, you're gonna do it, and I was like crying, I'm like, oh, I have no choice, so I didn't know her name and I didn't know her number, 
So I had to call the department, find out who called me. Somehow I found her, you know, her number, her direct line, and I called her. They, and they didn't I didn't know her name. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know her name. I'm like, did you just call me? And she ended up being the head of the department. And I was like, please, please give me another chance. I will do anything. And, you know, she was nice enough to, you know, she told me that I had to do a little more market research, submit a few other papers. And I did the work. And in a week, I was approved. Yeah. So to me, that was a very valuable lesson. One is that never take no for an answer. And two is that, um, you know, you can really do anything. You just have to work a little hard. So um, I was really grateful for her, but I never really told her and I never really thought about it at that point. But now so many years later, I don't even do that business, but I believe that the fact that she approved me for the program allowed me not to go back to work 9 to 5 and be able to grow and experiment different things. So I found her email and I emailed her and I told her pretty much the story and how grateful I am. And that her life is meaningful because she's making people, you know, dreams come true. Pretty she's much. making other people's dreams come true. And so. then she gave somebody a second chance. And, and I told her really that you know off. our business is successful now. I don't do image consulting, but the fact that I did it helped me grow and yeah, come yeah, up it really with this. Yeah, really helped a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, so really she emailed me back, and she was really happy to get an email. It was kind of inspired by day eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 had, we, kept, we kept, we had to, we had to keep something going. So day eight because it was kind of give a compliment to a stranger or to a person who has helped you in some way or is helping you in some way. So day nine, I felt like, you know, I was on that honesty streak. So I felt like for a day, I'm going to be honest with everyone, everyone who I come across with. And usually, you know, people, some people will say, oh, well, don't you leave that, that way every day? Well, I do, but I don't always tell my opinion to everyone unless I'm asked. So if my friend or not my friend, if somebody around me is complaining, I'm not going to tell them, oh, you're not doing this right, you should live your life like this. It's not my problem unless they ask me. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So like, I, I do share my opinion, but only usually if I'm asked, unless it's a really close person like Alex or Layla or my parents. But that day, I had to be honest with everyone. <laughs> so it was interesting. It was really fun. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do it every day, but it felt good sometimes to just be honest for a day with everyone, tell everyone just how you really feel about their situation yeah. or whatever is going on or whatever they're telling you. Is, well, I guess I kind of did it. Uh, one of my friends you was... kind of did it. Yeah, I kind of did it because <laughs> one of my friends was uh, telling me about his like girl problems and how he's in love and whatever and I kind of just told and usually him... usually sometimes yeah, yeah, you just listen. Yeah, you know? I just listen. I'm like, yeah, you're, don't worry, you're a good guy kind of thing. You keep going for it. But that day I told him straight up, like, this girl it's not told... Into yeah, she's not into you, kind of. She told you twice. Uh, oh, she, she didn't meet up with you twice. So you might as well just give up. You're a good guy. There's more girls out there, and I was just being honest. So yeah, I do my thing. no sugar coating that yeah, day. No sugar coating. <laughs> Fun. Hello. So what are we doing today? We're parents, parents for a birthday, <laughs> and we kidnapped the kid. Hi, Sasha. Sasha. Sasha, say hi. Hello, I'm He's <laughs> meditating or he's hiding from me. Hi. So that's our child for a day. It's Alex's nephew, Alex. A lot of fun. Uh, we were parents for a day. Parents for a whole day. <laughs> yeah, and well, almost a whole day. Yeah, almost a whole day. So we took out um, my Al nephew yeah. Alex. His name is Alex as well. Um, for a day, and we just had fun. Uh, we went to the park. <laughs> went to. We did some errands too. I got a haircut. Um, yeah, because we believe that parenting is not about you know kind of living just. Fun just your, it's it's fun you know to have a child and have fun with them, but sometimes he has to <laughs> do this track. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's just here, that's why I'm always looking there. Yeah, sometimes you have to, you know, kind of, he has to adjust to your schedule. So we kind of had a whole day with him and first we went to the yeah, haircut. haircut. Then we went to the grocery store. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. And then we went to then the park. Then we went to the park played. and had fun with him. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think he had fun too. Yeah, I think he had fun. <laughs> I guess it's nice sometimes if we do have time to, you know, because not all of us have children sometimes help the ones that do you know because they can get a whole day off and to them that's like amazing yeah they really get it. so to us we can just you know babysit a few hours take the kids to the park you know if it's your cousin or your sister or whatever whoever it is in your family you know if you do have the desire of course you have to have that yeah. desire then definitely you know 
help your uh, friends out or your family out, babysit sometimes, and you'll have fun. Exactly. Take our kitty sometimes. No, I won't give you a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> so they. Day 11 was a lot of fun. It was, uh, I don't think we filmed too much on day 11 because... No, we didn't. Yeah, because it was just, it was actually uh, a real experience in terms of we went to uh, an Indian housewarming um, and when it's we like came a to, prayer yeah, day I had to get a something? prayer day uh, and what it is is like they bought a new house uh, some time ago and they invited all these people, like their family and everybody, and there's like close to like 200 people in like a house. I think it's a lot like of a, Indian people that watch yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. you'll understand. We're like big families, but it was just like a right. It wasn't like it was a pretty good house, but it wasn't like a mansion or a massive house or anything like that. It was just a regular suburban house, and there was like 200 people in there. Yeah. So when we come in, there's all these people sitting on. I the felt like I was in Indian. Yeah, yeah, it was sitting on the floor and just eating, you know, and just talking and stuff. It was really yeah, interesting. Yeah, and I, we just want to. Want to film we didn't because feel comfortable it wouldn't be yeah because yeah. we just got in and we're like guests and like here we are filming yeah we're like, oh, here you guys but it's so we fully just, we just immersed yeah, yeah immersed, immersed in the culture and, and just had fun ate good food it was it was a lot of it, it was, was all so vegetarian. delicious yeah had some samosas, I love so. Indian food it's but it was just so <laughs> flavorful <laughs> yeah but it was a lot of fun I really enjoyed it and and um, it's fun you know sometimes. We're lucky enough to live in North America. There's so many different cultures that surround us. So if you have friends from different cultures, you know, sometimes even kind of invite yourself over if they don't do exactly. it. Exactly. Well, can I join your, you know, if they, if you have Jewish friends and they have Sabbath or yeah, if or you Indian have Chinese friends. or Indian yeah, friends or different Russian cultures. friends, you know, yeah. you can come over and, and see what their culture is like. And or actually, actually, you know, that Indian uh, party experience, if anyone's having a big Indian wedding, we'd like to come. We're, <laughs> We're inviting ourselves. Yeah, we'll love Indian food. We'll, we'll like the culture. And it's, it's really fun, you yeah. know, or any other culture. So let us know. Yeah, we'll I want to go to Asian wedding too. I want yeah, to go to Asian wedding. That would exactly. be fun too. I, you know, the tea drinking. Maybe. Oh, true. So yeah, Indian, Asian, or <laughs> any, <laughs> <there>. any <laughs> wedding. And what are we doing today? What's the challenge? Uh, we're, well, we're gonna buy some. We, we've been meaning to do this for a long time, but we slacked for a long time. So today we're gonna try to uh, buy some food for the food bank and drop it off. But we're gonna try to buy something, and you know, it's usually non-perishable items. Usually, it's kind of hard to buy yeah. healthy items. So we're gonna try to buy some healthy stuff, maybe. What do we have to see? Mimi's going all out. Some artichokes. <laughs> Even artichokes. Some vegetable soups, multigrain pasta. We have organic quinoa, beans, tuna different teas, uh, organic breakfast, <laughs> raw honey, yeah. and we got lots of rice there, we have brown rice, basmati rice, so it should well, be food good. bank was something we've been meaning to do, a donating time, food a to a time. food bank. Every time we're actually in the grocery store, Mimi's was like, oh, are you going to get some groceries for the food bank? And I'm like, eh, ah, next time. Because I'm just, in terms of we're already at the cash, I don't want to go back and buy stuff. Yeah. Um, but it's an excuse, and then at that time we're like, okay, we have to do it, and we're re really glad that we did it. Yeah, and we, the challenge was not just to buy craft food, but yeah. to buy healthy, nutritious food. And it's hard because, you know, it has to be non-perishable items. Yeah. So. But we, we got good. We got like. We a lot got of like wild rice, quinoa, beans. organic stuff. You know, organic tea, organic quinoa, this and that. So. Yeah, but even just like uh, a lot of grains and beans are really yeah, good. Yeah, grains like, and beans even are Even it's something we have to introduce to our diet that we're just, you know... We do a little bit of we that. We try, yeah. So the last two days, day 13 and 14, yeah. we're really running out of things. We're just being honest. Well, not that we're running out of things, but a lot of things you have to um, make an appointment and then wait. Yeah, yeah, wait, exactly. So you can't like do it right that day or that, right that second. Yeah. Well, day 13, we, we had, I think what's really important, uh, what a lot of people don't do is check up, right? So it's either you don't, like go for a checkup with your doctor and just see how your health is doing. Um, just overall check up. And what we did on day 13 is make an appointment with a doctor to go to the doctor. It wasn't the first time in our life, but it was the <laughs> first time in this year. In the year, yeah. <laughs> so it was really good. And I know like down in the States, it may be expensive to do that as well. But It is so important because yeah. you can prevent so many different sicknesses and disease and, you know, 
Exactly. It just because, like, for me, it really, like, it's really close to the family, and I, I think it's important because my father passed away from cancer, and it was partly because, you know, it's just he didn't get a checkup in time and I think it may have been prevented it with those earlier on mm -hmm. so to anybody for, for you that have parents and stuff is you know encourage them to or go, even yourself yeah, or even you yourself know. encourage them to go out go out and get a checkup with a doctor or uh, you know it's it's really important sometimes just and a yearly yeah. checkup you just know. yearly yeah exactly uh, in a year and the last day is you know you once you know you're you're, you're healthy which is good you know <laughs> yeah, exactly. you have to really you know eat nutritiously and you know take care of your body take the vitamins if you need some supplements so on day 14 we kind yeah. of went along with that you know make the doctor appointment exactly and we made an appointment with a nutritionist, nutritionist. because when, when you go to a doctor they don't tell you oh eat this and take these vitamins they just give you a prescription to drugs so yeah. if you want to really have a healthy life yeah. you need even, a nutritionist even us we think we eat healthy and stuff like that but we still haven't truly talked to nutritionists about everything getting all of our mm -hmm. red nutrients and stuff and, uh, and there's probably some some foods that we can also include, include in our diet exactly. people might think that nutritionists are usually expensive but, but I actually they're want to they're not I know yeah. they're already no, nutritionists are expensive but like with anything like you know with doctors for checkups or like dentists or there are always options uh, or with nutritionists there's always options there's always programs even for uh, for example, if you don't have that much money for mm -hmm. nutritionists, people from low income they're, they're families, for low income families or something, even even us, we made an, uh, actually an appointment with a nutritionist. My she friend, works from my Shopping friend Shopping. recommended. Yeah. She's a regular nutritionist, but on Wednesday she does uh, appointments for uh, for like a <coughs> lower cost, uh, just for people on, on Wednesday. And we just went because my friend recommended it. Uh, and and it's it, on a good budget. And so it's on a good budget. Why not? So why not? In terms of uh, <laughs> so, I'm just saying there's always ways. To do your health, they're just programs, and don't be kind of embarrassed. Oh, I'm, I'm going to a lower price. As a, as a kid, I we remember, don't care. Yeah, yeah we we are even care. Like, we're gonna go there as well. And uh, even like as a kid, I remember I used to go to the dentist for like uh, also as well. So there's nothing wrong with that as well. So. What do you mean go to the dentist? I used to like because we were like very low income. Uh -huh. and there, oh, there's we, there's, like there's also dentists for kids like under. Yeah, because in Canada, um, dental care is not covered yeah, by by the government. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really good. So, so now we're gonna go to yeah. nutritionist. So we're gonna go to nutritionist and and we already had the doctor's appointment. They had the doctor's appointment to follow up another time, but most importantly, just take care of yourself. Yeah. And I think that was and take care of the ones yeah. who are with you. Yeah. And this was really fun. You yeah. know, I wouldn't say it, it changed my life, but <laughs> it was really fun, especially to do it in the summer or if you have some kind of a break in your life, yeah. and you know you have a month off or two weeks off, you know. Instead of just staying home and doing nothing, like okay, like I'll go out maybe on Friday. Challenge Take yourself. Take this challenge. It doesn't have to be expensive. Yeah. You can do a, something as small as you know, and we can smile give you, at strangers. Yeah, every and day. we can give you some ideas below. So the, this 14 days that we did, we'll give you some ideas, and we'll also put some additional ideas of things that we want to do as well. Mm -hmm. That can just be fun for you as well. And so we challenge you to do your own 14 day challenge if you like. And if you anything. do. Post, post it here, it. <laughs> post the results, you can put it as a video response if you want. Yeah, exactly, put it as a video response. So thank you guys. And... Bye. Thank you for watching. <laughs>